Let's go. Right now, we're going to be reacting to I'm doing another one of these Inside the House videos uh, just because I like to watch them. Inside the House of Kendall Jenner's Cozy L.A. Hideaway. Let's just go into it. Hey, D, it's Kendall Jenner. Welcome to my house. Come on in. My apologies. I moved into this house about a year and a half ago. I renovated it for a whole year. The overall vibe that I was going for was really... She's got a lot of these types of... You can tell she likes these type of things. Peaceful. I wanted to feel super calm. You're this is her house? Mountains up here and surround Crazy LA hide... Oh. This is like her side house. Like when she's bored of her five other houses, she'll go to this one, I'm guessing. By a lot of nature, so I also wanted to feel her like hideaway house is bigger than my Tommy neighborhood. And Kathleen Clements and Waldo Fernandez did an insane job, and I'm so happy they're my best friends in the whole world. So, kind of the first thing when you walk in, I'm very proud of it, is my James Terrell. I have always wanted a James Terrell, so I that was oval? Really excited when I got it. It's so peaceful eh? and calming, and he actually makes these pieces eh? to meditate in front of. It's actually called Scorpius, and I'm a Scorpio, so Sc I'm a Scorpio. This is my, I guess, This is kind of cool. Room. I made sure there was no TVs in here. So we get into a lot of deep talks in here. We actually hang out in here more than I thought I would. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's like a hotel lobby. Fall, spring, whatever it is. I wanted it's like a nice hotel lobby. It's pretty minimal, kind of earthy. Just because I love really colorful earthy. art. The Clements are so good at adding these little pieces that just make you feel really cozy, but also just are super chic. When they brought these flower pillows, I was like, oh my God, I need these. They make it feel really good in here these wooden beams okay. add a really nice touch and then i have this this really is a hotel lobby five radio phonographo i just got it for christmas i'm super excited about it i went to the record shop with my friends we got a bunch of stuff record shop this is my bar area you always need a good bar my mom is that little one by one having the best bars just like really beautiful really set up pretty well so i feel like this is a really special place i've kind nah, of l drinker l drinker a little bit more like i've thrown some birthday parties here so we've had good times right off the bar is just a really nice kind of dark moody powder room this <laughs> that thing it looks like it's literally she grabbed the rock from outside and carved it what is up with that like i swear like rich people just get bored and they they pay hella money for some blue sheet, and then they have to, like, it's almost like they're defending why they paid that money for it and swear it's art. Like, come on, bruh. Though, is this That's just a freaking piece of stone. Sink that I was, like, dying for. And you were not dying for, bro. Pounds, and the guy who did why? They said it was the hardest part of the entire house was putting this in. They had to, like, try a million times because they had to, like, restructure it. Shit probably cost a million dollars. Stuff, so. Why? It's probably never leaving this house. <laughs> This is Imagine my it breaks office off. area. I hang in here with the people I work with a lot of the time. I don't personally use it a lot, but my girls do. Yeah, because connected to what work do they do? Is this really nice walkway? It's actually this one of is my pretty cool. Parts of the house just because of the amount of light that comes into it. It connects to my nice little courtyard out here, which is also one of my favorite places in the whole house. Lemon tree. Kind of lead into this. G Y Y W A T T. I have now created but not into really. an art studio. This was a movie theater for like the first year that I lived here. But I had an movie idea. Theater. I was really stressed out. I was working a lot, and me and my friends used to just go in the backyard and paint. I was. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let me finish my laugh. <coughs> bruh, come on, bruh. You spending millions of dollars can't spend a, a single dime on some painting glasses. Like no offense, but you spent the cheese on the room, but not no cheese on some lessons. You know what I'm saying? Time and I don't really use this room as. But all rich people want to so do art, and I love it. I was here last night, so like there's still stuff Sorry, set up for me. Just last night painting. I'm not good at painting, but I oh. really enjoy it. Well, at least she know. At least she does it for fun. Then all right, therapy, I need to stop so painting on that then. Coming in here and just vibing out and making. Some rich people really swear that they are artists, though. But it honestly lets a lot out of me and my friends and I come in here. Sometimes we'll throw on basketball on the screen. Basketball. And like just paint. Oh yeah, is it? Whatever. We're like. She's dating Devin Booker. Right. Nerdy, but it's cool. I have all these little jumpsuits. There's literally six of them just for anyone who comes in here. So you don't have to get dirty. Or you can get dirty and not worry about it. One has my name on it. My assistant's got this for me for my birthday. Or for Christmas. Who's Kenny? 
Ah. Uh, also, these are made from canvas. So I think one day I'm going to take these. I'm just going to paint over made them. Made from Everything canvas. Everything in here is made to become a mess. This is my dining room, which I love. There's a lot of woods in here. We kind of did this double rug thing, I got some wood. which I thought was really cool, and it warms up the room a lot. Me and my friends come in here actually more than I thought I would, and I try and use it as much as I can, just because hmm. it is a nice way to like talk to each other. Hmm. Rich people, when they get money, they start buying stuff that look like aren't worth money. And that's how you know it's worth some money. Because, like, come on, bruh. I know you're trying to look antique and stuff, but I saw what? That's something you see in, like, one of those, like, museums. Like, where they're showing, like, oh, look at what the freaking Egyptians built Sometimes back in the pyramid days. Sometimes in the family room and just watching TV and not speaking to each other. So, we come in here a good amount. I love this what room the lamp? so much. We open the door. What the single lamp? Yeah, like, this is some 1970, this is some 1770 type LA. how. I found this furniture. table right when I bought the house, and the chairs. Those I chairs think look I would so like low. The idea of mix and matching chairs then kind of adds a nice depth to the room. Nice depth. What does that even mean? My eh? kitchen. This is most definitely the most used room in the house. We are in here almost every single day and night. I make dinner with my friends most of the time, and I never knew that a certain kitchen could make you want to cook so much, because my last house I, I mean, personally, cooked, and then I, I don't know what a good kitchen, good kitchen or a bad kitchen would look like, to be yeah. honest. A kitchen just looks, is and a kitchen to me. I think I saw a photo so I can't of judge on anything on this. green cabinets with a really nice marble. I kind of use that as inspo. And inspo. I had a really white, just like simple stale kitchen in my last house, which are very beautiful, but I just, I kind of wanted to warm it up, and I thought it went so well with this house. I have all these really cool. Like, come on, bruh. Like, you gotta do all that to open the sink. Just turn the faucet on. You gotta, you gotta do like, put in six different input commands to turn that faucet on. Huh? Twist the thing. Pull down the lever thingy. Twist the knobber, and then twist the the the, the wheel thing. Faucets and they kind of you, recommend that you don't once, clean them. A the lot, richer you so get, kind of start to age. You'll see so rich people like to buy things that, I have going on. that are, oh, yeah, look like they're filler. worth nothing. I use this every day. When I was building the house, they were like, Do you want a pop filler? And then they got to defend like stuff like this that it's art, bro, and that it looks good. They got to defend it. They buy something, they get ripped off by some bots. I could probably go on, go to the richest neighborhood and sell. This Krispy Kreme donut hat and start selling it, saying that it's like some Da Vinci painting. And I was like, no, like, I don't bro. have a pot filler. I use it every day because I'm a tea addict, so it's perfect. Tea. I don't understand this people like tea. This is my TV room, family room. I mean, I don't mind it, it, but like, I have you know my really nice cloud addict? couch. I feel like everyone has a cloud couch, but they really are the best. I redid it into this kind of a little bit rougher of a fabric, just to kind of go with my house a little bit more. We watch games. We watch The Bachelor, we chill out, and then these doors all open really nicely, and we go hang out up there. It's a nice little entertaining area. It's just nice to get fresh air, and like I said, I live in LA, so it's always sunny. And That's pretty nice. That's pretty best. nice. So down here, technically, these are two bedrooms, but I needed the space, so I kind of made these into like a fitting room, which I also kind of call my Hannah Montana room. And fitting room. And my glam room. So I'll take you into the fitting room. And the glam room. It's always kind of a mess. And this is where I do all a my mess. fittings and kind of throw. I'm Closing glad you guys can't see my entire room. For long trips or trips at all. Even if it is a little bit cluttered in here or a little bit of a mess, I know where everything is. This is my glam room. I wouldn't even know what to do if I had all those options of clothes. Like, I wouldn't even know what, what to do. Like, that is so, too much clothes for me to decide. This is my glam room, also a very used room in my house. Everyone in my family has a good glam room. There's a really nice door, so my glam people can come in and out really easily. Glam and people. Walk through the whole house. And this wall of magazines is something that Kim started a long time ago. We all kind of copied her, and so I'll give her full credit for this idea. But we all have these walls in our house. It makes you feel good about stuff, you know? Hmm. In the hallway, on the way to my room, we have these two Barbara Krugers. I bought them Barbara a few Hulu. years ago at Art Basel. They were actually my first probably really big piece of art that I ever bought, and this wall was just so perfect for them. I like really just colorful stuff that makes you feel good. And then, interesting. this is my master. There's this first little... 22 a.m. circumference, 20 Armada Forest, glad to hear you... Uh, 
glad to hear you're a happy sitting area when you walk in. I usually I come here and meditate, chill out. Meditate? Why do rich people always gotta meditate, bro? What you meditating about, bro? I got this a few years ago, and I'm almost positive that there's measurements up top, and then the bottom says, glad to hear you're a happy girl. She doesn't even know? The measurements are an ex-boyfriend of Tracy Emmons' penis size. And then the message at the bottom is to his new girlfriend saying, I'm glad to hear you. Isn't this your house? Penis, I believe. <laughs> these are really old doors from Italy. And my mom had these a in door. every single house that she owned that I grew up in. When I bought this they house, got a she was door like, saved this hung up door. as I think they'll be perfect art. for your house. I think that would fit awesome. So I ended up finding a place for them. Little And then a random at tree. That you probably <coughs> they kind of go unnoticed, but they mean a lot to me. This if I was going to make a house... I, I would want mine so to look like the most comfortable thing the time. blue house from Pleasant Park. I know you guys know what I'm talking believe, about. To give you a visual of how big it is. Big bad. Big bad looking at. Rings. Big Everybody bed. always asks me what these are. Not exactly sure what they're supposed to be good for, but someone told me to get them. I have them hidden all over my bedroom. There's one on each <laughs> lamp up here. You're supposed to put them around your water. So I have these like little water thingies and I put oh my copper gosh. energy ring around them. Another scam. I don't know. I feel good around them. So <laughs> I'm assuming they're doing something. This is my double-sided fireplace and my massive TV, which I didn't really think through. Oh my so gosh, that fire is real. It's on, it's just really bright because it's so big. And then obviously you need a tea stand because I am highly addicted to tea. So tea. I have this Woman loves her tea. Area. It's really exciting. This is my master bathroom. This might be one of the most structurally renovated parts of the whole house. This shower was less than half the size. I raised the ceilings. I made what are the chances she says that a bathtub is real gold? I made this all glass so it felt more open. I found this really beautiful stone and it was called Gabbana. And my dog's name was Gabbana and she had just passed away like a week prior. It felt like I was, you know, connecting. It. And it has that green uh. tone in it kind of connecting all the greens Green. around the house, the earthy tones that I love. I get a lot of love for my gold tub. I'd say at is it real? three times a week I'm in this tub. It's my favorite ever. And then this is my closet. I guess we'll never know. I don't think I've ever had a closet this big. Bro, I thought we just saw the closet. Fun fact, I purge my closet at least every two months. I try and go through it, clean it all out, and it is one of my favorite things to do ever. I feel like a newborn baby every time I do it, but I won't take complete credit for all of that. That is a lot. Of, how do you even know what married. you're gonna win? She's a dream come true. It's one really for every day of the week. year. Uh, one for every day of the day. Off my master is my backyard. The whole house is pretty much a U-shape, so every room almost connects to the backyard. I thought we already so I looked at a lot of nature, as you could probably hear, which I love. It makes me feel super out of LA. We hang out here so much. But I you're still in LA. Vintage quilts, so I'll just lay them all out on the grass, and me and my friends will come out here and just chill, meditate. I did a sound bath out here the other day. It was really so nice. I'm pretty sure this is the same pool that was here when the house was built in the late '80s, early '90s. It's not your typical modern square-shaped pool. I just is love this that. in the mountains? What is awesome. the background? Are they in the mountains? It was. Huh. Thank you, AD, so much for coming. I hope That's you it. enjoyed the tour of my house. Hmm. But it is sadly time for the rest to go. Well, I guess what we've learned was Richie Pool. I mean, when you got cheese, you can just spend on whatever you like. Just because you paid a lot for it doesn't mean that <clears throat> it's necessarily good, though. That's why we're cheap. Like, this actually means a lot. It was actually built on the buttocks of Christopher Columbus. Like, come on, bro. But that's the end of this video. Uh, nice, short, easy video. I'm going to catch y'all. Bye.